In this video, we'll go through setting up pixel streaming to work with virtual reality, using the VR template available in Unreal Engine 5. Beforehand, however, I'd like to go into a bit more detail regarding what it is and what to look out for. What is it? As you may have guessed from the title, pixel streaming virtual reality is a feature of UE5 that allows you to stream virtual reality experiences from the cloud or remote to a local VR headset. This can be done with both standalone headsets using the inbuilt web browser, such as the MetaQuest series, or PC VR headsets, such as the Valve Index. Pixel Streaming VR uses the WebXR API to handle device inputs. To better elaborate on WebXR, I'll provide a link to more information below. Prerequisites. For what you need to run PSVR, you'll need a recent version of UE5. Uh, Pixel Streaming VR got its first experimental release in 5.2, so at least that version. A local or remote PC capable of running your VR application. Keep in mind that VR applications generally require more powerful hardware than their flat screen counterparts. And a VR headset for the user or peer to use. Limitations. Pixel Streaming VR is still in an experimental state. It's not really recommended for shipping complete projects at this stage, so do keep that in mind if you wish to work with it. Uh, due to the nature of VR, even the slightest delay or lag in input response can cause discomfort to those not accustomed to VR. Thus, at this stage, PSVR really is best suited for local network setups. By running on the cloud, you introduce heavier network latency into the mix, which can be immediately see immediately noticeable for the peer. Uh, VR hardware has also gotten a lot more affordable over time, but it can still be a financial hurdle. Due to the increased hardware requirements, it may also lead to increased running costs. For example, more powerful hardware will cost more to run on the cloud. With all of that out of the way, let's jump right in on how you can set it up for yourself. We're going to be using the VR template available in UE5. To start with, we're going to go with the Virtual Reality Template Project, and we'll just name that VR Set. Now that we have our project template open, first things first, we need to go into our plugins and enable pixel streaming. And we need to disable the OpenXR plugin. Yes. Yes to any of the others that need to be disabled and restart. Once the project is restarted, you'll likely get this pop up regarding missing plugins. We can resolve this, we'll dismiss this window, head down to your content drawer, search for Asset Guideline, and you'll find the B Asset Guideline VR template file. Simply delete this asset and force delete, and that'll clear that. Next, to ensure that everything still works, look for the VR Pawn, open the VR Pawn, and compile. If all is well, that should compile successfully. We'll save that and close. Great, now we're ready to move to the next step. In order to test our VR application in the browser, we're going to need to add a launch command. So if you open Editor Preferences, scroll down to Level Editor and then Play, we'll head down to the Play in Standalone Game, and we'll add the pixel streaming URL the standard pixel streaming command we use to start pixel streaming, and pixel streaming enable HMD. This will ensure that you can use the VR headset that you've selected. Now, before we can start streaming, we need to create a HTTPS certificate to use with our signaling server. The reason for this is WebXR requires that the API is only available to sites using a secure connection, thus the HTTPS certificate. Generally, for a full deployment, you'll need to use a secure origin to support WebXR. However, for this one, we'll be setting up a really basic certificate using Gitbash. If you do not have Gitbash installed, I'll provide links below, and extra information on the certificates required. So firstly, navigate to your pixel streaming infrastructure and your signaling web server folders. In here, we'll create a new folder that's called Certificates. Once that's done, open the Certificates folder, and you'll want to open Gitbash here. Now in our git bash window, we have this command that we need to use. I'll provide this command in the description below, or you can pause the video here to copy this one. Uh, I will also provide a link to the VR setup uh, official UE docs page as well for easy access. Once you've entered this command, click enter, and you'll be provided a number of optional entries that you can skip. So we're just going to click enter through all of these. 
And once that's done, we can see here in our certificates folder, we now have the two key, key files that we need for our certificate. Now that we have these, navigate back to Signaling Web Server and open your config.json. In here, we'll set use HTTPS to true. Do note that you can also set this by using use HTTPS equals true in your signaling server as a launch arg. However, doing it here prevents you from having to do it every time. Make sure you save this file and that should be everything we need. So now we just need to start testing the application. So let's get our application streaming. Firstly, in our pixel streaming infrastructure, we're going to start the signaling server. So we'll run that with PowerShell. And then here in the application in UE, we're going to launch the signaling server and we're going to ensure we're using the remote signaling server as we don't want to use the internal one that does not have the certificates. So use remote signaling server, that's all good. And then we just want to play in standalone. As you can see here, we've got the application running. So now we're going to switch over to the VR view. Alrighty, we're now here in the VR view and we're using the MetaQuest 3 for this demonstration. Hi there. Now, we're going to open up our MetaQuest browser and you can see up here, we've put in the PC that's streaming the application's local IP address. We're on the same network right now. And as well as we're preceding this URL with HTTPS to ensure that we're doing the secure connection. So we can simply click to start and we can see the VR view here. Now this isn't very helpful, of course, but you'll see here we've got our XR toggle. So we'll click on that and there we go. We now have the VR view interactable and streaming from the PC to our headset. It's just that easy.